Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to download, deploy, and do the first open for My Time Tabulator. Before we get started, you must have Microsoft Access 365. This tool, My Time Tabulator, is an Access desktop application. Now, most large corporate workstations come with Microsoft Office and Access installed. However, if you do not have it, then sadly you should probably stop here. Let's get started walking through the download instructions. First, we're going to download and copy the ECCDB file. Not paste it, just copy it. So to get started, there's a couple ways to download the application. The first way is from the GitHub instructions you're reading. Right click right here on this link on 2.1.1 and open it in a new tab. And there you go. Now, that's the first way. Notice the download button here. And the second way would be, let's start from Google here, would be to open your browser, go to github.com slash data research labs. Hit enter, all one word, data research labs. Up comes a product. The sort order may change over time, but what you're looking for is my time tabulator. Click the link is the download. So click the download and here we are back at the same, well not quite. We have to also click the file that we want to download, My Time Tabulator. And then we're back where we were if we just click the link from the instructions. So from here we're going to click the download button. Depending on which browser you opened it in, I opened it in Edge. You're going to want to show it in folder, whatever the link looks like on your given browser. And then pick the latest file, I had to clean up some, and right click it and copy it. And that's how you quote unquote download it. It's downloaded to my downloads folder. Next, we're going to deploy the application, which is just a fancy way of saying paste the ACCDB file from the clipboard into a target directory and optionally create a shortcut on your desktop. So to deploy, we're going to first open Windows Explorer and I have file explorer and I have it opened here to the C colon test directory. And then I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it MTT, my time tabulator. I'm gonna go down into that folder and then I'm gonna right click and paste. And there it is. That's the file that I just downloaded off of the internet. A shortcut, I can do that as well. First I'll right click and copy the file where it's situated in the new folder. Then from my desktop, I will right click and paste a shortcut I don't like that name, so I'll click on it, and so I'm going to take and rename that because I don't like it. It's all too wide, so my space time space tabulator. I already have one, so i got to put an X on the end of it. Now the space is allowed to flow onto two lines, and I don't like that icon, so I will right-click and go to Properties and change the icon, and these native icons in Windows, I'll use Default and it's always going to be there on Windows. And then I go over, uh, let's see, move it all the way to the left, and then go one, two, three, seven, I think it was, what was it, eight? Well, that one's okay. Or was it nine? There it is, nine. I like that one. Hit okay, hit okay, and now my icon's changed. And finally, we're going to perform the first open, where we respond to a security prompt to unblock the safety lockout which is just a fancy way of saying we need to tell Microsoft Access it is okay to run this code that was downloaded off the internet. To do the first open, browse to where the file is located, double click it. Now that it's opened, you will see the security warning prompt up here and an enable content button. Click the button, that's it, you're done. You'll never be asked again. If I were to close this file and reopen it, it's not prompting me anymore. So as long as this file name stays the same and it resides within this folder, I'll never be prompted again. But if I change the file name or move it to a different folder or change the folder, I'll get prompted again one time. And Microsoft, of course, does that because they want you to be sure that you're not downloading viruses off the internet. And if you want to be sure, hold down the shift key when you open it, nothing will run, and then you have access to all the source code. Thank you for watching and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.